In front of me is the Samsung Smart Monitor M8. It's a 4K 32 inch monitor that I've been using in my office for the past few weeks and I've been loving it. I partnered with Samsung on this one. They wanted me to show it off to you guys and talk about all of the awesome things that it can do because for a monitor, it has a crazy amount of features. Monitors are usually pretty boring and they don't always have a whole lot going for them, but the M8 does. And you can tell something's different about this one just by using your eyeballs. This is one of the best looking monitors on the market in my opinion. It's got a very modern, minimalistic shape to it with lots of sharp lines. And one of its standout design elements is obviously the color. I went with spring green to kind of match the accent color of my new office studio, but they also have three other colors like blue, white, and pink. The bezels around the top and sides are pretty darn slim and they just have a slight black border. And although the chin is a little bit thicker, it's covered with this strip that shows off the accent color of the monitor and gives it just a little bit of character. I appreciate that Samsung didn't just, you know, slap their logo front and center here and instead chose to keep it nice and clean. Thumbs up for that. To the bottom right of that chin, you're gonna find a couple of different sensors. One is an IR receiver for a remote, and the other is an ambient light sensor that will allow the monitor to automatically adjust its display brightness for the room that it's in. Underneath that, we have the stand, which is finished with the same spring green color as the chin, and it has both height and tilt adjustment to put the monitor at the right height for ergonomics, as well as a pass-through for cable management at the back. The M8 has two USB-C ports, one of which is capable of 65 watt power delivery for charging a laptop while using the display at the same time, as well as a micro HDMI port and of course a DC in port for powering the monitor itself. Samsung includes a micro HDMI to HDMI cable in the box too, so you won't have to go out and buy a special cable or an adapter to use your HDMI devices with the monitor. On the back panel of this monitor, you have this textured herringbone finish that actually looks really nice and unique. That's also where you'll find the Samsung logo tucked away in an area that kind of complements the design instead of detracting from it. Like I said, most monitors look boring and actually can be a bit of an eyesore, but the M8 isn't either of those things. And the end result is something that you might wanna have on display instead of hidden away. There's also this strange little connector piece at the top of the monitor, and that is for this little guy, the slim fit camera that comes in the box. Instead of installing a permanent camera, you know, inside the top bezel of the display, Samsung chose to give you one that you can snap on or pop off anytime you want. Again, that's great for aesthetics, but it's also very nice for peace of mind if you're a little bit more concerned about privacy. You just connect this little USB-C adapter to the webcam and then the webcam snaps into place magnetically to the top of the monitor and it even has tilt adjustment. The quality of the webcam isn't the best that I've seen, but it'll be just fine for the odd Google Duo call, which by the way, you can do directly on the monitor without having to hook anything up. This is a smart monitor after all, and it can do plenty more than that, which we'll talk about later. Now for the actual display stuff, you know, the most important part of the monitor. The M8 has a 4K 32 inch VA or vertical alignment panel. And generally speaking, the display is pretty good. The strongest points for this monitor, I think, are the brightness and contrast. It gets up to a peak brightness of about 400 nits, which makes it easily bright enough for an office with a window like this one. It also has very deep blacks that come close to OLED performance. Color and sharpness are decent out of the box too, and there are several different picture and color options to choose from to dial in what you like. If you've got a nice big desk like the one I have, 32 inches is the perfect size. It doesn't look like it's trying to take over the space and it provides plenty of screen real estate to get work done. Despite it being called a monitor, this is one of those things that kind of aims to blur the line between product categories. It's very, very good for watching movies and TV shows. And it even comes with dual stereo speakers on the back. So while it is a little bit small for a TV these days, you could definitely use it as one, especially with all the smart features. The audio quality coming out of the speakers isn't bad, but you won't be getting, you know, cinematic Dolby Atmos sound with these tiny speakers on either side. The M8 does come with Bluetooth audio support though, so you could connect something like your Samsung earbuds or another Bluetooth speaker for a much better experience. 
The M8 comes with its own little Samsung TV remote, which is what you're gonna be using to control the monitor's built-in operating system. They've got a ton of apps and features baked right into the internal storage of this monitor. And honestly, you could buy this monitor, never plug anything into it, and still get your money's worth. They've got all your favorite media and streaming apps and Samsung TV Plus, which is a free service that they include with over 100 channels that you can watch at any time. I haven't had a TV service in my house in years, and using this little guide feature to flick through the channels in the Samsung TV Plus app gives me just a little burst of nostalgia. On the work side of things, the M8 actually has a full internet browser built in that you can use without having to plug in a computer. Now, you could technically use it with just the little Samsung TV remote, but thankfully you can also connect a Bluetooth mouse and keyboard, which turns it almost into like a all-in-one computer. The M8 also has Microsoft 365 support along with native Google Duo support like I mentioned earlier, so it's got a lot before you even plug anything into it. In fact, you might not even need to plug anything into it at all. You might be able to get away with just using your phone, because the M8 works with both Samsung DeX and it has AirPlay for connecting other devices. If you have a DeX compatible phone like my S22 Ultra, all you have to do is tap on the side of the monitor with the phone and it'll prompt you to connect to the M8 instantaneously, turning your phone into a little portable workstation with lots more apps and functionality. Then there's the SmartThings hub. The M8 can be used as a fully featured IoT hub where you can control your lights and other smart devices right from this monitor. SmartThings is compatible with a ton of different devices, and I can add them right to the panel here on the M8 or by using the mobile app on my phone. I can turn on and turn off my office lights, control my Samsung Frame TV downstairs, access my security cameras, you get the idea. I can be sitting at my desk watching TV or doing work, and if someone rings my doorbell downstairs, I'll instantly get a notification with a video feed showing who's at my door, which is just amazing to have. You have no idea how many times that I've missed delivery people because I was just upstairs with a pair of headphones on doing some editing. So I think the Samsung Smart Monitor M8 is pretty darn cool. It looks fantastic, it's got a ton of smart features, and I think the price is right too, at an MSRP of 899 Canadian dollars before any sales. To my knowledge, there are very, very few monitors out there that both look great and does this many things. So for me, this gets a solid thumbs up. If you're interested in picking up one of these, I'll leave a link for you in the description below. Hope you liked the video, thanks for watching, and as always, have a great day.